Hello, I am Mertad Sadaat Bagbani, Assistant Professor of Graphic Design at Florida Atlantic University, and the talk I'm going to share with you today is titled Designing Products of the Future Through Speculative Design. Recently, the word design goes beyond traditional product and communication realms. It is expected that design plays the role of more socio-technical interventions such as experiences, services, and social innovations. A traditional design model is user-centric and with a bottom-up approach tries to define the problem and provide a solid solution for user satisfaction through a straightforward pathway. It emphasizes with specific users and extracts their needs, pains, and creates many ideas and prototypes to try to solve their issues smartly. But there are often problems so big that it becomes difficult, if it's not impossible, to create solutions for them. Issues like financial crisis, environmental disasters, and political strife aren't things you can simply sit down and design solutions for them. The purpose of design is not only solving the problem which is just in front of us. According to Dunn and Ravi in their book, Speculative Everything, Design Fiction and Social Dreaming, designers should not just address issues of today, but also take a look into the future and ask, how can we address future challenges with design? When we think about the future, we don't like to think of it as a straight line. We like to think of as possibilities or alternate futures. We always talk about the futures because there are many possibilities. You can think of it like a cone. Everything lies within the cone of possibilities and the things that lie outside the cone are fantasy. At its most advanced, I believe design education not only prepares one for a career in design as a professional practice, but equips the students with an understanding of design as a social practice. As a result, the mission of a progressive design educational program needs to aid students in preparing for their role in society with particular concern for the issues of participatory culture, sustainability, systems design, interdisciplinary teamwork, and research. Furthermore, I believe that a dynamic education system should train students to understand the political and social signals, trends, and technological advances in contemporary societies, which they can not only design for today's needs, but also be able to set agendas for exploring our preferred world in the future. And the future belongs to those who can imagine it, design it, and execute it. It is not something you evade, but rather create. Synchronizing design students and educational system with these emerging demands has always been one of the main challenges of design educators. In a traditional design school, it is vital to have a consistent revisions for class projects not only to follow current trends, but also to provide a satisfying picture of the future. It was a privilege to teach a portfolio class and work with senior graphic design students at Florida Atlantic University, where I could align my research interests and professional experiences into class projects. In the course of an exercise in problem solving and macro approaches to projects, students were asked to speculate about products of the future by observing signals, scanning for trends in society, and analyzing a current advanced technology. With a backcasting approach as a traditional framework, we could put the solutions in the future and backcast them to the present to define milestones. But students needed to understand it. When we talk about the future, the future is not a straight. We could take a backcasting and lay it on the top of the future's cone and think about multiple futures and how we might get there. And of course, anything outside of the cone could consider as fantasy. During this project, I faced some challenges. First of all, this was a graphic design course with senior students in their final semester at the school. The main question was what the final product of this project should be in terms of form and format. Should the final format be a product or an experience? How about a service? Should the final product be digital or manual? Do students have to deliver a 3D model or a poster? Should they have a user interface or a user manual? How much does making a video help to introduce the final product? 
in addition, they were graduating and building their portfolio to get job. Was this project tangible and professional enough to help them to find a job right after graduation? In following, I'll share and briefly talk about four of those projects. Motatio. Motatio, lotting of the word change, is a technology-based clothing line where fabric is able to change colors and patterns. The idea is to create a hybrid fabric composed of regular use of threads and microfibers of copper. The two elements will be woven interspersed and create a new type of fabric that when connected to a smartphone, people can customize colors and patterns for any desired occasion. As of today, the fashion industry is responsible for 10% of the world's pollution. This technology will help reduce the amount of carbon dioxide and pollution in the environment because it will be versatile enough that people only need a few and is not mass consumed. Magic Pen Inspired by the recent pandemic, it is a smart pen that quickly scans surfaces and objects to detect biological organisms. It indicates the result in two different ways. In the quick mode, it will generally indicate if the surface is safe or risky through red and green colors LED embedded in the body. Or you can have more information about what it detected through details mode accessible via an application on your smartphone. The next project is High Sea City, the future city in the age of global warming and sea level rise. It is a floating city that was designed and proposed as a plan B solution to the predictions of water rising in the near future due to global warming and climate change. High Sea City was created to meet all humans' needs such as shelter, sustainable energy, clean water, food production, and with zero waste, no harm to marine ecosystems. It is like hexagonal platforms which can, you know, like a puzzle get together to make villages or even bigger as a city. All sustainable energy will come from the ocean, rain, wind, humidity, sun, and west. Low-rise buildings are designed to resist winds. The structures, barriers, shelters the city from rough waves. Each platform is filled with air to provide lightness to platforms as well as each base contains a compressed air platform for energy storage. And finally, smart cook systems. With research and food habits, this project proposed the next generations of kitchen appliances that replace the need for a person to cook at home cooked meal. It replaces the need for a person to have pre-made frozen meals, meal prep or cooked meal subscription boxes to resolve the need for a person to look up a recipe, to cook a meal, to help family homes save money on eating out often. You will order spices and food capsules and through the application you will determine what you want to eat for your next meal thank you